What's up guys? So, in this video, we're gonna look at what happened when I bought 40,000 Ceralite ore and prospected it on a low-knowledge jewel crafter. Is prospecting good? That's what we want to find out, right? So, what did I do? Well, I have this, um, this jewel crafting alt. It has skill 80. I have very crappy green uh, quality um, tools for the most part. I have not an optimized build for this, not even for this specific method, which we'll get into later. Um, I have, well, 55 plus another um, 25 here. Um, so 70 knowledge, which is not uh, not optimized. <laughs> That's uh, the truth of it, and uh, not something that I've spent uh, a whole lot of time on this character. So we, I think we are just barely into respected, which means we're still don't have valued, don't have any renowned knowledge. We just have first crafts, one-time treasures, and a couple of weekly quests. Uh, but uh, as we can see here, I've not done the go out and kill weeklies this week. Uh, we are. Um, so the point here is obviously to find something that can hopefully make gold f without having to put in a huge amount of effort on this specific character. That's what we want. To build. Um, so yeah. Now, I don't have the right build for this. The actual right build for this is probably to go Max Inspiration, Max Brilliant Bobbling, um, and go just 10% in this, or 10 points in this base node, 25% here, 10 points here, and then Max Out Brilliant Bobbling. And then you put more points either into Jeweler's Toolset Mastery or into the base node here. Uh, both of them work. This way you'll get the Empty Soul Cage, which can potentially be profitable as well. Uh, this is going to give you more generic bonuses, and of course, it's also going to give you access to to this node, which is going to be very, very useful, more resourcefulness. Um, so, um, so I'd probably go for just ten points into enterprising, twenty five points prospecting, twenty ten points here, thirty points here, and then another ten points here to start putting points into resourcefulness. As long as you that makes you reach the um, the threshold where you're guaranteeing quality 2 and Inspiration Proxy is going to give you a quality 3. Uh, now, I bought my ore a while ago. <laughs> and prices have gone up since then, apparently. Uh, so as we can see here, my average purchase price is about 10 gold for all of these 49,000 that I bought. The 40,000 that I bought for this specific session of prospecting cost me 330,000 gold which is a lot less than what it, what it would have at current prices. There's just no way around that. Sadly, I spent too much time prospecting and, and Ceravite or went up in value. Uh, so I spent 337,000. If I bought these at current market value, it would cost me 53,537,000. Um, so there's that, but we'll take that into account when we're looking at the profitability of all this. Uh, as you can see here, my bags are absolutely bursting with gems, absolutely bursting. Uh, now the limited diamonds, this is where the vast majority of, uh, of the profit is going to come from. Uh, this is where the money is made, particularly the quality three. As you can see here, we have 10 quality three limited diamonds. They are worth 320,000 gold currently on the auction house. Um, which means that, well, they're already going to guarantee me a profit because I bought my ore cheaply. And then these are worth 137,000, so this is about 400,000. And the rest of all of these gems, the rest of all of the the stuff that's littered in my bags, including the crumbled stone, uh, totals to 540,000 gold of value for me. So I made 200k gold, but if I'd bought them right now, then I wouldn't have made 200k gold. We would have just made my gold back, because as I said, it's about 540,000, and this costs, the Ceravite ore costs right now 540,000 gold. Uh, so could I have been profitable? Well, as, as I said, my build is extremely far from optimized. I do not have a, did not have an enchant on my inspiration tool. I have a quality one sundered onyx loop. I do not have max points in Brilliant Bobbling, so I'm missing an absolute ton of inspiration. Obviously, I already have the metal, so I could get like at least one tool, um, which would give me more inspiration if I upgraded these to the rare versions and slapped on a Draconic Inspiration. You can also use Sagacious Incense for another 2% inspiration. Um, and probably I need to put a, a bunch more inspiration in and get to about 30% proc chance, then I'd be profitable at current prices. 
Um, but yeah, like it, it worked out for me, but I don't know what the gem prices were a week ago when I started <laughs> prospecting this batch. So I have no idea um, if this was profitable at those prices, but with markets in Dragonfight, particularly like the region wide stuff, you want to process quickly and get it out. Uh, now, some min maxing you need to do for this. Number one, there are some consumables. I mentioned one, the Sagacious Instance. Um, you put it down on the ground, it gives you a 20 inspiration buff um, for either 30 minutes or 20 minutes, depending on which quality you pick. Uh, this is pretty much a must-have. Right now, the quality 2 is the cheapest. They give the same amount of stats, it's just the duration that changes. Uh, so you could buy two of this, it would give you 40 minutes for the same price as 30 minutes with quality 3. Um, then on top of that, you're going to use the file of quick hands, uh, which is a huge game changer. Get the top quality one, it's 100 gold for 30 minutes. It speeds up your crafting speed by 30%. It's a huge difference when you're crafting large, large amounts of uh, ore when you're prospecting it. So use both of those, plop them down, click create all, and then you're just blasting. Another little tip for prospecting is this add-on called Trade Skill Flux Capacitor. Um, what it does is it essentially puts the next stock stack of ore directly in here, so you don't have to think about it. Uh, now it's going to pick the ores based on the order in your inventory, so if you're using a bag add-on like I am. Uh, see right now it has the, the stack I'm currently prospecting. If we move this 1000 stack ahead of it then it's going to fill that. So once it's done with this, then it'll have the 1000 stack as the next one. Um, so when you're doing this, just make sure that any resourcefulness procs bottom of your inventory. So it's going to take the next big stack uh, so you can save as much time as possible. Now, as usual, to figure out if you're going to make a profit or not, I made a spreadsheet. This is a simple calculator to uh, essentially figure out if you're going to make a profit or not. Um, this is a very simplified approach. We're just going to look at the price of the diamonds, the limited diamonds, we're going to assume that everything else you get where your profit's going to be made. You put in the Servite ore price, the price of the two diamonds, and your inspiration percentage, your resourcefulness percentage, and you get a number here. If this number is below above zero, it means that you will be breaking even on your diamonds, and any gold you make from your other gems is going to put you into profit. Uh, what I found in my batch is that about 80% of the gold made, or 80% of the value, comes from the diamond. Which means that if this is zero, so you're going to make your, all your gold back from your diamonds, then you're going to be probably making about 20% profit off of the, all the other gems, assuming you can sell them. Um, so there's that. Now, if you, have, if you can guarantee quality 3, that's possible. That's an alternative build. By using the max quality uh, ore, you can actually reach guaranteed quality 3 for Ceravite ore. Then you just put in 100% here and put in the price of, of quality 3 ore instead. It's 37 gold right now on EU, which means that you can see here, it's possible, it's profitable, uh, but it's pretty close. You might need more resourcefulness to make it worth it at the current Ceravite ore price. At the current um, quality 2 ore price, which was 13.5, uh, you need 30% inspiration to, to get above 70 or about 29 point something. 29.8, something like that. Uh, interesting to note here as well is that the small changes in Ceravite ore price is going to have a huge effect. That's what happens if I just put this down to 13. My profit changes very significant margin. Um, and we can now get away with like We can now get away with 28.3 uh, inspiration, 2% lower and still be profitable just by decreasing the price of one Ceravite ore by 50 silver. Uh, so this is something where you definitely need to be very, very aware of your material cost um, at all times because that's going to have an, a huge effect on your profitability. Uh, now, I some things I did not take into account at all. That's that you can do other things with your gems and just sell the raw gems. Um, you can crush them, which can be profitable uh, by turning it into into quality three gem dust. This is something that that can be profitable. Uh, I'm not on the math on that absolutely at all. Um, there's also obviously a bunch of intermediate materials that you may or may not be able to use your gems for. 
um, and you can use your quality three gems if you're a jewel crafter like me i'd be using i'm going to use all of these for for my own quality three rare gems which i use the quality three base gems for um which doesn't really matter because it's not a huge part of the cost anyway um, I also prospected all of the resourcefulness procs I got. Uh, didn't do anything more with that. You can also prospect crumbled stone. No idea on the, on the value of that. Because uh, I didn't want to prospect another 12, <laughs> another 11 stacks of ore. Um, and there's lastly, that's the prismatic ore, which you get from, from the prospecting specialization. I prospected all of my prismatic ore. Um, and actually, I didn't include the value of all of it in my calculations because I didn't want to bother finding the value of these quality one gems because my skill was high enough that I got, or low enough that I got a decent chunk of quality one gems from, from that. So obviously that gave me a little bit more value. Uh, also, this 270 um, Prismatic Ore gave me three more rank three illimited or rank two illimited diamonds, um, which is another 9,000 gold, which wouldn't have moved the needle on the current price but it is more profit i think i also got one cask right or uh which is so little that it's completely irrelevant <laughs> so what's the verdict for this um it's profitable if you have the right that's that's the the long and short of it um you need a good amount of inspiration to to make it profitable at the current prices and i think that's why the ore price has gone up um, you're going to need a combination of inspiration and resourcefulness to help you get there. But if you can reach about 30% inspiration right now on EU, then this is profitable. Um, which is probably doable at like 75-70 knowledge, uh, which you can reach without having to farm for any of the renowned bonuses uh, or reaching valued with the Artisans Consortium, uh, which means that you can you can get this fairly quickly on a new alt. Fairly quickly. You might need one reset, one weekly reset to get it set up to where it's profitable. Obviously, of course, things might change. Uh, I'm recording this one week before it goes out on YouTube. So if the market is completely different, then I apologize. I lucked out when I did my batch. Uh, but the most important thing for, for something like this is to finish your session, get your stuff onto the auction house so that you're selling into the market that you actually calculated your profitability on.